I'm going to prepare for you today one of my favorite all-time fish dishes. I think you're going to love this recipe. I cook it probably about every week. Just blackened catfish. And the principles that I'm going to share with you today, you can apply these principles to chicken, steak. So anything you want to blacken, whether it's steak, shrimp, chicken, on down the line, what I'm going to teach you today with the catfish can be used with all those other proteins. So let's get started. Obviously, the most important thing besides the protein with the uh, blackened fish is you have to have a good seasoning. Now, there are a lot of seasonings out on the market, but I've got a video actually that we made um, on how to make a blackened seasoning. And what I like about making my own seasoning, I can adjust some of the elements of it, like uh, the cayenne pepper is what really gives it the kick and the bite and the heat. And um, some people don't like it real hot. Well, tone down the cayenne, but if you want it scorching hot, um, just kick the cayenne up a little bit and, and put a little bit more in. And I think you're going to be pleased by making your own seasoning. So how are we going to do this? Well, we have a cast iron skillet over here. And first of all, we're going to turn it on and get it good and hot. And we like to have this kind of blazing hot. Now, some people say get it so hot that it starts to turn to ash. I don't necessarily agree with that theory. I think you can get it up to 400 degrees and it's going to be perfectly fine. And you're not going to have to worry about burning anything with it when we're doing this. We, this is blackened fish, it's not burned fish, and there, there is a big difference. So what are we going to do with these fillets here? Uh, first of all, I'm going to dry them off. This is U.S. Pond Raised Catfish, by the way. A pride of the pond uh, fish out of Tunica, Mississippi. I've cooked literally in my lifetime thousands and thousands of pounds of this fish. Love it, it's consistent every time. But there are all sorts of good fish processors throughout the South, and they all have a good quality product. Uh, this is, just happens to be the one that's readily available to me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to season this fish really good. Now here's a couple different theories on this. Some people will uh, dip this in butter and then use the butter as a binding agent to uh, put their seasoning on. Um, I don't necessarily feel that you need to do that. Um, there's plenty of moisture still left on the fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glove off so I don't contaminate all my uh, seasoning over here. And I'm going to just gen very generously uh, season this fish. And again, watch the video on how to make this. If you don't want to make your own, just go out and buy some. But I think you're going to be very happy making your own. So I'm going to pat that in real good. And see how it's binding? I don't really need to dip it in butter or anything like that. I have plenty of butter later. Turn it over. Do both sides of it. I'm going to start out with the avocado oil. Now, the butter will burn, of course, and uh, but we're going to put butter in there, uh, which is traditional. But I'm going to put it on toward the end just to give it that little nutty uh, flavor that we get from, from butter. Uh, but we're going to get this good and hot. Then we're going to add our oil. And then we're going to put our um, fish in with the presentation side down. We want the presentation side down. We want to cook that side first and give it a good coat, a good cooking and it's going to be wonderful. A couple things uh, that you should keep in mind when you blacken fish. Um, you need to give it your full attention. Um, this thing gets very hot. The skillet's going to get very hot. And you want to make certain that there aren't any kids or any children around that could topple the skillet or, or get into it um, because it will be, become very hot. I think the skillet's just about ready here. I'm going to pour in a little bit of oil. Get it fairly hot. So you can see that skillet's actually smoking, and that's the reason we want good ventilation. Another thing that I would tell you to do is try to get your cooking surface as level as possible. If you're doing this on the stove in the house or out here, this is fairly level. All my oil's not really pooling up to one side here. And I believe it's ready to go. I'm going to turn that heat down just a little bit. And um, when we put the fish in, we're going to lay it away, in, away from us, not toward us, because if we put it toward ourselves, we could possibly splatter up some oil here and, and burn ourselves and, and make quite a nice mess. So take the fish and we'll very carefully listen to the sizzle. We know it's hot. Lay it in there. Let's swirl that oil around a little bit there and get it on there. And it's good and hot. Now let me tell you something about cooking with a gas stove, especially inside. If it's not a commercial stove, and you're cooking like this, a lot of times the heat is designed to come up around the outside of the skillet. 
So those are your hotter areas right here, the outside of the skillet. If you're cooking on a commercial stove, which I do a lot of times, uh, they're designed and most of the heat is concentrated toward the middle of the skillet. So that's just a little pointer for you today. So we're not going to tamper with this fish. We're going to let it cook for a couple minutes. This side's cooking a little hotter than this side. That's not a problem. It's all going to come out okay. Always control your heat. Uh, that's very important in cooking. Uh, you always want to learn how to control your heat. While, so while we're letting this cook, let's just visit uh, together a few minutes and let me give you a few other tips. When you start anything like this, especially a recipe like this, make certain you do the proper mise en place. That means you have all your ingredients together because we don't want to stop right in the middle of the process and then go try to find our butter or our seasoning or our oil. So go ahead and get everything together. We're going to go ahead and turn it over. I'm going to get underneath it carefully. Flip it back over this way. Look at that. Nice and blackened. It's not, no, that's not burned. It's <coughs> blackened. Now, <coughs> it's good to do this outside. I'm going to go ahead and put butter on this now. Because those spices are pretty potent. And um, I am feeling those right now, even cooking it outside. I really don't recommend doing this inside too much. Put that butter on there, that's going to give us some nice flavor, that nutty flavor. Sure, the butter's going to burn a little bit, but not too bad since it's in there with that high smoke point avocado oil. So we're about 121, 22 right now. Um, we're getting there, and it's going to turn out just about right. If you're joining us for the first time um, and, and like this video, uh, please hit the like button because that really helps us. And if you have never subscribed to our channel, All Things Food with John Woods, please do so today. Tell all your friends about the channel because we bring you tips every week that it's not just recipes, but each recipe I try to include some kind of a tip, pointer, something that will help you in your everyday cooking. So it's time to check the internal temperature here. Um, we're up to right about where we need to be. In fact, that's absolutely perfect. Now, I need to stay away from that because that smoke will get you. <coughs> oh. I'm going to go ahead and turn my fire off. Keep, keep in mind that skillet is very hot. And there you have it. Thank you, Paul Prudhomme, for giving us this recipe that's been shared and enjoyed by millions of people around the world for the past 50 years or so. And I love blackened catfish. Again, if you want to do chicken this way, do it. Uh, if you want to do steak this way, shrimp, uh, lamb, anything you want to do, just follow the same principles that I use today to blacken this fish, salmon, whatever. Uh, go for it and be sure to uh, comment or, or tell me about your experiences because I, I read everyone's comments. Thank you and I'll see you next week.